Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Pokemon Ruby. Let's do it. That was a wall. We're gonna go grab a super potion. See, I told you. Um, so yeah. I am just going to make this uh, little announcement. Yonin777 is looking for a name for his... Uh... Floatzel? Weasel and Floatzel. My Pokemon rule, check them out! But yeah. He was just looking for a name for that, so if anybody wants to toss in a name for Yonin777's... Weasel slash Floatzel... The polls are in! Go vote! Make one up. You can even call it Waterface if you want to. You can call it Bweasel! Just so that it would never ever change its name. You could call it Waterfox. Or you could give it a name that's actually not bad. Um, what did I call mine? I named one back in the day. Tubin. That's what I named it. Tubin. Because they have little tube-like things on them. Ouch, a scrape! I have to put on a bandage. Do you need more than the bandage? You need a new face. Yeah, that was very nice of me, wasn't it? Okay, I'm gonna toss C dot out there. Alrighty, let's grab this repel, and we're gonna fight this next bug catcher. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Oh boy, this is gonna be a hard voice to continue doing without getting a really screwed up voice later. <laughs> Alright. I doubt I will remember that correctly, so that when I have to do it again after we beat him, it'll work. It'll work, unlike attacking Wormpole with Bullet Seed. That wasn't my brightest idea. I've had better. <laughs> oh, man, that was a Liar Liar reference. If you know it. If you know it. Alright. And die. Silcoon, you're gone. Yay, level up. Wow, it's special defense is garbage. Garbage. Get any garbage? <laughs> That's what Mr. Kiernan said back at my high school. Okay. Water gun should kill it. And it did. Alrighty. Um, here we go. I lost. I thought I had you. You didn't, though. Alright, I'm gonna teleport over to the gym now. Ready to teleport. And I teleported. Successfully. I know, isn't it magical? Don't you wish you had the ability to do that? Alright, so I did some leveling. And I changed over to here. And this is arguably the most difficult gym in the whole game. In my opinion, it's the most annoying. Alright, here we go. Let us prepare. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Raspberry Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Oh man, that voice is something else. Alright, Geodude. I'm gonna confuse you with my confusion. Uh, go, go, Gadget Confusion! Oh no, I switched the moves! I forgot about that! Oh no, Confusion used to be there and I put Growl in there instead and put Confusion in the first slot. Oh no. Okay. Well, it looks as though I'm gonna have to do something else now. Like, get c -Dot killed! What? Alright. And you are now seeing why this gym leader is the most annoying. At this point in the game, the rock moves that she has on her Pokemon are really good compared to what you have. And considering the choices of Pokemon you can you can start with, you don't really get high attacks. Alright, that ought to do. Alright, go go gadget bullet seed. Aw, oh, you couldn't have just hit one more time. Alright, well, she's gonna heal it. Yep, she healed it. Yeah, normally, uh, if they don't use their potions or whatever, and they get down to that low, you can attack again, just because they're going to, uh, heal it. Just a general rule. I mean, it's not, it's not fail-safe. I don't, I don't actually know the, the number generators they used that, uh, 
generate the artificial intelligence in this game, so I couldn't tell you, really. But I've noticed that over playing since, like, the first generation. Well, second, I guess, because Green was over in Japan before the games came out in the US. Pokemon Green was like a worse version of Red and Blue. I played it, though. <laughs> I, I found an emulator for it. Or a ROM. Alrighty. Nose Pass, I absolutely hate fighting you. Because your defense is redonkulous. Redonkulous? Yeah, its defense stat is huge! It's almost as big as its nose! Almost. Ah, uh, that's not good. Not good! Nature Power, Swift! Oh boy, that'll do like what, two damage? Good job. Alright, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to heal you. Ah, I just yawned. Today has been a long day. I had my organic chemistry lab check out before I made this video, so... I had to clean lots of glass. Alright. Bullet seated in the face! Sorry if that was loud, but I got excited. Are you gonna die? Nope. Oh, one more. <gasps> one more! <gasps> yep, like I told you. Healed up. Alright, maybe I'll get lucky. And kill it! Will it die? No. Okay. Ah, uh, Mudkip. Mudkip! That's what it sounds like on the TV show. I miss the days when that show was good. That show kind of stopped getting good after, like, the third season, or not third season, after after they started getting to Johto, it got bad, because they started changing all the voice actors. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state the trainers are to be given this if they defeat the gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. Yay, I made it through without having my voice crack. You got the Stone Badge! Yeah! The Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the agent move cut outside of battle. <gasps> Please take this with you, too. It's Rock Tomb. Yay. That's Rock Tomb. Yay. <laughs> I called it. Yeah, Rock Tomb is pretty good. I like using it. It lowers the speed of the opponents and it, uh... It's a rock type move. Alright, let's see if I remember this dude's voice. Let's see. Get out! Get out of my way! Wait, please! I'm an incompetent fool and can't protect myself! Don't take the goods! No! Okay, let's go heal instead of help that guy. <laughs> what a good Samaritan we are! Wait, what a good Samaritan we are! How can we be one good Samaritan? We can't. Wait, what? They just wanted me to stay there. Hope I come back. That's nice of you. I'm gonna die. Oh, it's you! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pedalbeg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Ah! <laughs> I just did the surfer laugh from SpongeBob. He made me experience high tide! Oh! Couldn't help it. Too easy. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is! Okay, crazy cat lady. You sounded like an old British crazy cat lady. Ah, <laughs> Meryl, you're fat. <laughs> you are so perfectly round. Almost. You are a little bit of an oblong sphere. But it's kind of circular. You're not above me! Okay, you are an angry person. Whismur! They make lots of noise. That's what they do. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Bah! <laughs> I just wanted to add in the bah, so I didn't get into the fight yet. Alright, this dude has three Geodudes, I believe, and they're all level 8, I think. It wouldn't quote me on it, but I think that's the way it works. All right. So far, I am right. 
All right, level eight. Let's see. Yeah, called it. I am right. There we go. Ralt grew with an awful level. Wow, that was absolutely horrible. <laughs> Losing made me tired. I'm Batman. That's what he said. <laughs> oh man, if Matt Ackerman's watching this video, you're gonna have to post a comment with the obvious response to that's what he said. Okay, well I'm just about uh, out of time here, so I'm gonna tell you that uh, different natures help them level up differently. And that's it, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching, hope it helped, and I will see you all later. Peace!